Hey guys, welcome to my channel Success Sequence where we daily analyze Nifty and Bank Nifty for the next day's upcoming move and expected level. So as mentioned in my last video, uh, we did knew about the important levels both on the upside and on the downside. But since market uh, closed higher above its 8 days exponential moving average, all other indicators and option activity data uh, were suggesting bullishness. So we were long in today's market. So if you can see market did open higher as per our expectation. It also gone up but ultimately it could not sustain it above uh, at high levels and finally it came down. So still market is currently trading above its 8 days exponential moving average. It has registered a rejection of lower prices near its 8 days exponential moving average. And if you can see slowly and uh, steadily bullish crossover is trying to get formed so apart from that if you check out macd macd has also generated bullish crossover and it has not weakened today even though there has been some down move apart from that rsi is also trading above its uh, important level which is 50 so all these things suggest that the today's down move should not be looked into uh, with uh, that much caution but unless and until market closes above it is this exponential moving average uh, things will get things uh, will get start to uh, uh, turn out something uh, negative on the negative side so what we can do is we can watch out for this eight days exponential moving average level and if market goes down uh, we can uh, try and go short the market with a stop loss of previous candles high which is 9905 or 9910 and we can expect a level uh, uh, till uh, 34 days exponential moving average which is uh, around uh, 9858 so if market goes down uh, maximum downside we can expect is 9858 and if market breaks that level we can expect a level uh, till just a second we can check here uh, 9836 and then if finally it gets very seriously down we can see a 9820 level as well on the upside if market goes above uh, the first resistance will be as usual 9830 so if you want to see market going higher it has to sustain about 9830 level so if you can see today uh, market did try to break the time uh, uh, 9930 level sorry so but it could not break 9930 levels there was a quite an amount of resistance at that at uh, that particular level finally market did break that level and if you are in my whatsapp i did mention that the at that time also uh, bullish crossover was getting stronger and the market finally went on to make today's high so let me show you my whatsapp message that i did uh, gave to my subscriber today so at opening I mentioned that nifty trades above 9930 we are good to go same level for the bank nifty would be 24600 so let me tell you the rationale for this message so yesterday everything everything was looking good but what was missing was fresh generation of uh, bullish position was um, not there so market uh, players did not made a fresh bullish position so that was something missing and that was something that uh, did not uh, gave us uh, that sort of confirmation that we are looking for uh, this up move. So what I saw today, uh, market was trying to uh, go higher, but it was not able to sustain at high levels. So what uh, what I did, I try to figure out uh, what is the level that should be there if the fresh bullish position comes into the picture. So uh, for that level, uh, I I will make a separate video how to find out that level. So I can see that. I, uh, I can so I can see that the nifty uh, for nifty that level would be 9930 and bank nifty that level was 24600 so since uh, bank nifty was trading much below uh, uh, 24600 I definitely felt that this should not be hold but since market was volatile today it was going up and down altogether so 9930 whenever uh, nifty reached 9930 there was some sort of resistance but once it uh, once it broke 9930 it went up to 9948 but honestly i am expecting 9950 level which it not uh, which it did uh, could not get uh, through so that was the issue and the bank nifty was something that is troubling today because there was uh, today is uh, today was expiry so that was also the reason that the a clear move we could not get in nifty and bank nifty as well so since 
uh, market did not uh, closed above uh, important level i uh, did message to my subscriber at uh, 326 that we should not hold longs in nifty and bank nifty because see if you want to trade aggressively you can trade but if you can see that market was not sustaining at high level so unless and until that level gets broken i think we should not uh, make any fresh position so if in uh, uh if tomorrow if you see this level uh gets broken you can make a stop loss and aim for the fresh bullish position and you can expect a target of uh, 9968 and if uh, this target uh, gets achieved and then you can expect a target of at least uh, 9980 and if 9980 is achieved then we can aim for the further target till uh 9997 or 10000 something we can expect on the downside i already mentioned the target uh, so the moving averages will play a crucial role to hold the market to support the market now let's talk about the option activity range and what the market play, uh, participants are expecting so if you see the option activity range for the uh, nifty uh, 9800 to uh, 10200 is the range so upside there are 300 points and downside there are 100 points so let us Uh, go and find out what these points are suggesting so if i see i can see that uh, in call side market players have came in to write uh, call options so i can see call writing uh, being taken place at uh, various levels so majorly 10050 10100 10150 10200 and all other levels i can see that the calls are being written so this suggests that the market participants are expecting some sort of bearishness at a high level so Uh, that is all uh, that is also the reason i uh, suggested my subscriber not to hold longs so and that was for the calls and now if you look and, and observe the put side i can see that there is uh, support at a lower level so 9800 to 9950 level i can see that puts are being written so that is something that is suggesting bullishness so you can expect 9800 will not be broken if you see fresh put writing being done uh, for the uh, for tomorrow apart from that at high level i can see that put longs are being covered so market participants are not expecting uh, convincingly higher move in uh, up on uh, on, on uh, higher level so 10000 to 10200 levels i can see that put uh, long is being covered so that is something bullish but since put players are also going out and uh, at high level 10150 put shorts are being covered so overall this suggests some kind of bullishness but ultimately money is being money is going out from the market so that is something we can uh, consider as bearish so put short is also covered at 10150 level that's uh, that is something that is suggested that is suggesting a bearishness so overall my final analysis would be uh, until and unless market breaks is today's high we should not go long and if the market goes below it it, uh, it is exponential moving average and stays there you can definitely uh, expect a level of 9858 in the nifty so that was analysis for the nifty now let's go and find out what is the level uh, or what are the views that market participant uh, would expect for the bank nifty in the next week so uh, whatever the analysis i will be suggesting it will be for the next series so today was the expiry in bank nifty so uh let us first look at the option activity range for the bank nifty for the next series so 24000 to 24 uh, 25000 uh, is option activity range for the bank nifty uh, 600 point upside and uh, 400 point point on downside so uh let us see how much percentage roll over we get today so if you can see uh, players are very ag aggressively came in to write a call option so i can see call option being written all over the place so there is uh, quite an amount of uh, change in open interest uh, has been added in today's uh, uh, option activity range i can see that calls are written and maximum change in uh, open interest and call writing is taken place at the 24900 so market participants are definitely not expecting 24900 so uh, whenever you see uh, starting of a fresh series and the call writing at a high levels so market participants are expecting that definitely this level will not be achieved unless and otherwise they will not write a call option at uh, at uh, such a starting of a, a new series because it will be a high risk proposition to uh, write a call option because there is a uh, there is a still time to expiry and uh, since there is a time to expiry a market can go against you if the things uh, do not turn out as you expected so what i see call writing in uh, At, at, at all the levels for the bank nifty and uh, if i see put fresh bearish position is 
is what I can observe in Bank Nifty and uh, not aggressively but change in open interest wise if I uh, consider so quite aggressive bearish position is being made at the high levels especially at 24,600, 24,700, 800 so rollover data is suggesting a bearishness for the Bank Nifty now let us uh, analyze the technicals and let us find out what they are trying to suggest so if you see today market did went down and uh, finally Bank Nifty is trading below is 8 days exponential moving average so this is 55 now let's add some moving averages so that is a 21 days exponential moving average just a second guys yeah so market is also trading below is uh, 21 days exponential moving average so let us add one more which is 34 days exponential moving average uh, so if you uh, if you uh, observe i am uh, uh, using all the fibonacci numbers because i feel that fibonacci numbers are very good to analyze market for the sh shorter uh, period of time and that is why i use fibonacci moving average regularly so what i can see that market is right now trading below is 21 days exponential moving average and right above at uh, 34 days exponential moving average so there has uh, been a rejection of lower prices below 34 days exponential moving average but since market freshly closed below is uh, both 21 and 8 days exponential moving average i feel that uh, we should not hold our longs because if uh, because if market slips from uh, this level and it if it breaks is 34 days exponential moving average we can see level till 24 875 so that is what my analysis will be for the bank nifty and if you see MACD is also stalling at a below level and RSI now is below 40 uh, uh, now RSI is at 47.80 which is below 50 so that is also not good as far as technicals are concerned so I feel bearish for the bank nifty and uh, slightly bullish for the nifty but overall I feel that market will be either stable or it will be bearish any upside will be uh, will be sold into so that is what my analysis for the uh, to, that is what my analysis for today for nifty and bank nifty so as you as always guys if you like my video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and family and don't forget to comment on the video section uh, if you have any query uh, so let us see what how market trades uh, for the upcoming days and then we can analyze and take a call accordingly always remember that uh, sell at a resistance and buy at support but for that you need to wait for some time you need to see the rejection or support at a higher or lower level and accordingly you if you take your move it will be a risk reward favorable trade and you will not even if you go wrong you will not be uh, losing that much money so that's that is what my advice for the today's video thank you